My name's Alex Cox. I'm a film director and something of an enthusiast for Italian westerns. The first Italian western that I ever saw was for a few dollars more. I saw it at the cinema in Birkenhead on the Wirral Peninsula in the north of England, and I was blown away. I still think it's the greatest of all Italian westerns. And fortunately for me, I discovered that the north of England wasn't that far from the south of Spain. And so not long after I took my first trip to the cinema to see an Italian western, I was taking my first train ride south through France, through Spain, towards Almeria in Andalusia where all the great Italian westerns of the 60s were filmed. One of the great things about For A Few Dollars More was the great success of Fistful of Dollars gave Leone and his collaborators a much bigger budget. And so they were able to afford to buy a steam locomotive and use it. I think it was the first Italian Western that featured a train. Now, of course, a train needs various things, including a station. And the scene that Lee Van Cleef appears in, the train sequence ends here in Granada province in a place called La Calahora. And this was the location that was used not only for, for a few dollars more, but also for the good, the bad and the ugly, for the Civil War railway station, for once upon a time in the West. They built a town over here, Flagstone, to accompany it. When Lee Van Cleef leaves the station, of course, he isn't at a location here. They couldn't afford to build another Western town. And so they cut to the location of a fistful of dollars, which was far, far away in Madrid. Now this and the ensuing town scene were shot on Western sets built outside Madrid for other movies. The first one was for a Zorro film. Leone wasn't entirely happy recycling other directors' sets. So for a few dollars more, he would build his own. So what I'm gonna take you now is a total ruin. But once upon a time, this was the exterior for the location of the jail where El Indio and his men were reunited. The interiors of the jail were shot in a studio and in the boring in Almeria. But the rooftop and the exteriors were shot in this cortijo. And so this roof, which is now completely collapsed, was the roof of the jail. You can see the rock formation back there, and you can also see the, uh, the major highway from Almeria to Granada, which of course wasn't there in those days. Nothing remains of some of these locations, but others are still in very good shape. And as we persist on our journey through the locations of, for a few dollars more, we shall find some locations which are still in pretty good order. A total error, total error on my part because I just gave you the wrong information because the location that we were just at, the Cortijo de los Callejones, and thanks to the presence of my various textbooks, I can now report that that location was the place where Lee Van Cleef shoots Klaus Kinski. So, apologies for my error. Let's gather up our supporting materials. Ah! And let's carry on. Find some more locations. This is a small town in the mountains in Almeria, near Tabernas, called Turias. And this is the place where El Indio and his gang hung out. Well, Wendy. When they were preparing to rob the bank in El Paso, I was hoping to take you inside and show you the interior of this, this lovely church, but I don't have the key. And the lady who has the key is in Almeria shopping. So this is the location. 
When film crews came to Al Marina in the 1960s, there was one place they all went to shoot. The Ramblas in the Tabernas Desert. And it was these canyons. Vast canyons carved by flows of water over the years. Well, I bet that you, like me, have always wondered where was the location of the Alamogordo jail, where Monco frees the friend of Indio, Sancho Perez, played by Panos Papadopoulos. Well, wonder no more, because here it is, the Cortijo de los Genoveses, private property, so we'll move on. This is a location that I'd never seen before. It's called the Torre de Alumbre. And if you remember the film Dokusaka, A Fistful of Dynamite, that Leone film, this is the building that existed in the background where James Coburn blew up the tower and killed all the people within. Before that, though, it was used in, for a few dollars more, as the exterior of the church at Turias. It's not actually a church at all, and it was a place which was used to store alumbre, whatever that was, in the days when there was mining here in Rodalquilar in the state of Almería. So this was the exterior of the church in for a few dollars more. And this was El Paso, the original town which the architect and designer Carlos Sini built from scratch. 40,000 square meters, 400 cubic meters of wood, hundreds of carpenters and plasterers from Almeria. Now it's called El Oasis, or Mini Hollywood, and survives as a tourist attraction in southern Spain. Those three principal buildings from the film, Monco's Hotel, the bank, of course, and the Colonel's Hotel, are still entirely recognizable. And it's good, right? Keeps it all afloat. They have gunfights and can-can dances on the hour. So I want to take you now up into the Sierra Alamilla, where they shot the big wide exteriors of the landscape through which Indio and Monco ride on the way to the bank robbery. Man, I used to do this kind of stuff all the time. I used to ride bicycles up here when I was younger. But I'm getting on in years now. I gotta tell you, I could do with a ride. Adios. And it was here, in this very spot, that Clint Eastwood came riding up, Van Cleef came around this corner here, and Eastwood says the partnership is dissolved, and Van Cleef says you can't go on without a wound, and shoots him in the neck. Golden moment from, for a few dollars more. And now, let's go to Las Palmeras. In 1961, the British filmmaker David Lean came here to Almeria to shoot a series of extended pickups for his film Lawrence of Arabia. He needed an oasis in the desert, but there were no palm trees. So Lean, who had all the money in the world, brought palm trees and planted them here. And this became a location known as El Oasis 
or Las Palmeras. And this is the place where, in for a few dollars more, El Indio and his men gather, pull out their guns, and blow that wooden box apart to reveal the safe stolen from the bank of El Paso within. So this is quite a famous place. This is the location of certain historical events. A terrible murder took place here, which is described in Garcia Lorca's famous play, Bola de Sangre, Blood Wedding. And for a few dollars more, this is the location where Indio and his men all lie down and go to sleep, and where Monco and the Colonel steal the booty. Now, we can't get in there because it's all blocked off, but I'm going to take you on a little tour around, and we'll look at some of the locations which were used as interiors for, for a few dollars more. And also, this was an exterior for the exterior of the monastery in the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. And this is the Cortijo del Fraile. Do you know where this, when they filmed for a few dollars more, was a long avenue surrounded on both sides by these tall plants called machos, mostly gone now. What you can see behind me instead are invernaderos, huge greenhouses which cover Almeria and part of Granada and are where we grow all the tomatoes of Western Europe. But take your mind back, if you can, to the moment where Gian Maria Volonte said to Clint Eastwood, go in there. Looks like a cemetery, doesn't it? And it could so easily become one. So we're coming now to the end of the road. Where are we? Well, we're approaching the last location of for a few dollars more, which as I'm sure you recall, was this huge stone circle. This is what they call an era. And this was back in the day used for threshing the corn. Now obviously that's not done anymore and these things have long since deteriorated. But the city government of Albaricoques, who really are aware of the touristic value of the Italian Western, have recreated the era here. Years ago, I shot a movie called Straight to Hell up in the desert of Tabernus. And on the last day after we finished shooting, I came out here with a bunch of friends, with Joe Strummer, with Courtney Love, with Dick Lude, with James Fernley, with Del Zamora, with Tom Richmond. We took pictures of ourselves here and imagined that we too had been in a classic Italian Western. So I want to thank you very much for coming with me on this little trip. We'll say goodbye. Then, Scotty, vamos a la aventura próxima. <laughs> <laughs>